Let's talk about identifiers. So let's imagine that you download a wallet supporting Polygon ID and you create your identity. You will get a unique identifier similar to this one. What does that mean? Well, your identifier will start with DID, and that is because Polygon ID supports the DID standard sponsored by the W3C. DID stands for Decentralized Identifier. Next thing you will see is what we call the method. This is our DID method. And then the blockchain and the network where your identity is created. The method is the way that any application can resolve this part of your identifier. So by using the Polygon ID DID method and passing this identifier, they can get access to the DID document. This is required by the DID standard. The standard doesn't say where the document is stored. It can be in a decentralized storage, in a server, on the blockchain, right? But using the polygon id did method anyone getting this identifier can get access to the did document now let's focus on the unique part of your identifier right what really makes your identity different to any other identity this is created using something called the identity state the identity state is the way that we use in polygon id to represent an identity it's a collection of Merkle trees, one Merkle tree for claims, one Merkle tree for revocations, and another for keeping track of versions, and we call the tree of trees, right? These three Merkle trees contain the information that expresses the status of an identity at a certain point in time. There is a special identity state, which is the first one. It's, it's the identity state of the creation of the identity. The way the genesis identity state is created, that is the first identity state, is by creating one single claim in this tree. And this claim, that is the out claim, is a self-claim. It's something that the identity holder is saying about himself. And it's saying, I am in control of this private key. So any identity created in our system is linked to at least one private key. There is an interesting property of the Genesis identity state. The identity state is nothing more than a hash of the three roots of these Merkle trees. And this gives the Genesis identity state a very interesting property, which is any application or verifier that receives a message signed with this private key and sent by this identifier can check that the identifier is in control of the private keys used to sign that message. And that is without checking the blockchain or issuers or anyone else. Just with this ID and the Merkle tree proofs, he can know that the key used to sign the message is in control of this identity. So that is how the identity is created. And if nothing changes and you keep using your identity with the same pair of keys, your identity state, your Genesis identity state, is not going to change and it's not going to be published on chain. It doesn't need to be published on chain because everybody can check the ownership of these keys without any other information. Now, what happens when you need to rotate your keys? When you need to change the keys that are linked to your identity. Imagine that these private keys are stolen, right? It's like your car is stolen and you go to the police and you let the police know that you're no longer in control and no longer responsible for that car. The same happens with your private keys. If you don't control your private keys, you don't want anybody else to say things on behalf of you. You identify it because they are in control of the keys. So you want to let everybody know that these are no longer your keys and instead this other set of keys are now the ones authorized to sing in your name to do that you will create a revocation you will revoke 
your previous keys and you will issue another claim right for the new keys you will rotate your keys and that needs to go to a public registry because everybody need to know that you are no longer using the keys that you use in your genesis state to do that your identity state need to be published on chain to hide your your identity or to keep your privacy from trackers we are publishing it in something called GIST or Global Identity State Tree, where verifiers can check the ownership of the private key that you're using to sign without tracking your, your real identifier. So that's how we create the unique part of your DID, is the hash of the Merkle tree roots of your Genesis Identity State. And it will, it will not change. Although you can rotate your keys, you can add more keys under your identity. So you, many addresses in different blockchains could be assigned to the same identity. It doesn't matter. Your global identifier is permanent and won't change. What will change is your identity state published on chain. Thank you. You know, 